Welcome back to a stage of history. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. We're starting off a little bit e a little bit later than usual this evening. We're getting back into some Guilty Gear Strive, so we can have some practice before an upcoming tournament this coming Saturday morning. I don't know if we're going to stream this one because it is going to be so early, but we'll see if there's enough uh, if there's enough desire for it. We'll, we'll see if what we, what we can do. been a while since we played Guilty Gear. I expect to be rusty. I also expect to not stick in floor 9 after this evening if I end up doing some ranks. But we're probably going to chill and park for a while. While we... Freshen up. Start from the left side first and we'll get to the right side. Gonna do some practice or some practice of our basic moves first. Hey Lilith, how are you this evening? Welcome to the stream. I'm alright. Wanted to get some Guilty Gear practice this evening, instead of just uh, skipping stream. What about you? I have to try and shove this microphone closer to my face. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Might also have to uninstall the um, the mod for you know that I have installed Bachi the Rock because apparently her the, her background music is constantly being copyright claimed and it's getting kind of annoying. 
Of course, if I always play in the uh, first player slot, it won't be as big of a deal because her theme will not be playing in gameplay. Are those metal flying citations? Uh, yes. Yes, they are. Because of the mod I have installed, which makes everyone a robot. Since I fixed the other controller, I wonder if I should go back to using that one for Guilty Gear. Why does it keep... It's weird. Are Guilty Gear specials tighter than Street Fighters? That doesn't make any sense. It should be the opposite of anything. God, he keeps uh, whiffing for some reason. Oh, it's because my inputs are getting lazy. I have to, I can't just swing in the lever. I have to actually commit. It's just like the problem with Street Fighter. You can't just flick. You can't just flick the moves. You need to commit. To move which sounds which sounds uh fairly like common sense but it's not so common common sense basically there we go got the mic a little bit closer to my face I wonder if 1.5 is not tight enough for Guilty Gear for me, if I need to use a 2 pound stick. wonder how I can convert from... To That's not what I wanted to do, but that's not the worst thing I could have done, I guess. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. It's not, it's, uh... Okay.
need to get the timing right is what I'm doing wrong. Maybe I can practice this movement instead. You know what? I just realized I should probably be wearing this. That's weird. Why is it not... Something wrong with... Hmm. One second. Got some technical difficulties going on here. Weird. because of the okay I see what the problem is now I was wondering why I couldn't equip the mayhat and then I remembered it's because 
the it's based off the uh, each of my different costumes is connected to a different alternate avatar, and I don't have the avatar that particular. I don't have that ability on my other clothes yet. So while I'm wearing this outfit, I couldn't possibly change into my May hat. Because the assets for it literally are not on my character. There we go. A lot less confused now. A lot less confused. And I'm rusty. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. Actually. Usually I just... But what if I were to... But if I do it that way... Oh, <laughs> wait. Wait, that might, that might work, actually. So. That's kind of disgusting. Thanks to the Hydra Redeem reversed. Let me do it in just a bit. We did it right now, actually. Gamer sups. Okay. So not from there then.
Hmm. Oh my god, yes. That's what needs to be done. Hey Dakuro, how are you doing this evening? Shit. Excellent. If I can practice that, that would be another nice thing to add to my tool list. And does a nice third of a damage a third of a health bar too. If someone's already kind of Hurt and I get him in the corner with that, it's kind of game over already. Or that, really. Shit, man. So how are you doing this evening in the Kuro? You're good? That's good to hear. Just come from checking out a bunch of games from these Team Next Fest. Is there anything interesting on offer? There's a Metrovania based on Christmas Carol where Ebenezer Scrooge gets multiple stands and an attempt at 3D Vampire Survivors. That's interesting.
I really am better at pulling instead of pushing when it comes to doing it, performing movements on a stick. So, compared to most people, it actually behooves me to play from player 2's position instead of player 1. Funny how that works. Yeah. You can do some multi combos better in P2 side? Hmm. Almost got it. Engine? <laughs> uh. Oh, I haven't worn a Komodo in a long time. Hey, Steel. How are you doing this evening? Ah, fuck. Just wall splatted twice. This isn't Fight Streeter. No, it's not. I have a Guilty Gear Strive tournament on Saturday morning. So I need to learn how to play this again. You weren't kidding about skills being transferable, though. I feel like it's easier for me to make combos now in Strive, now that I understand fundamentally how making combos in fighting games even works. King of Street... King of Streets of Ragefire Type Zard 2 Central... or Central Blood King of Streets of Rage Fighter Type Zard 2 Central Blood 
Act, um, Act Blue. I, 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 Caliber of the Virtual Souls. Something like that. Wait, could I actually? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Could I just freaking? It doesn't do nearly as much damage, but it looks a lot more stylish. <laughs> as Ace likes to say. And also it keeps him a little bit in the air a little bit longer, I guess. That's not what I want to do either. Or I could just do that, fuck. Okay. Actually, if I do the if I do jumping heavy, it sends him flying into the air. So maybe. Nah, I fuck it up already. Oh, forgot to add Ultra Fight at the beginning, and Knuckles featuring Dante from the Devil May Cry series. May mentioned. Io? De you know, I'm surprised no one's made a Devil May Cry joke with May yet. It feels like it would be something that would be a no-brainer, right? Thank you for the Hydra to redeem, Venboy. I got plenty of gamer subs here for this evening's... Uh, this evening's hydration. Gamer pride. Yes, indeed. You know what I keep forgetting to do? What I keep meaning to do, but I keep forgetting to do? Adding sound redeems to the stream. <laughs> There's got to be a Tatsugeki. There's got to be a Tatsugeki in here. But I keep forgetting to do that. That's pretty fucking strong too. What the shit? What I should do is, if I get someone cornered, I need to get in the habit of instead of just going from, instead of just going from this and then going to kick like I usually do, I could just go into here. And then do some crazy shit. But only from RC it looks like. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's fucking... I punched him eight times and half his health is gone. You can just kill straight up kill people with that. <laughs> that's not... I'm sure it's not optimal in the slightest, but I don't care. Because it works. It just works. I mean, that did it only six that time, but you know.
It's optimal for mind damage. Yeah, it is optimal for mind damage. It's it's just a fucking it's a it's a series of what the fucks like. They'd be like, what the fuck is this May doing? <laughs> It's like that one Leo combo I saw once. What happened in the Leo combo? I fucking wish I could do that. What I just did just now on a whim. Fuck me. He, I like whiffed the fucking... The fuck did I do? Oh, wait, no. Um. So what I did was... I gotta do it. I gotta. I gotta do it. Whiff. Whiff. <laughs> Wait. Uh, so it's a uh, heavy Tatsugeki. Oh my god! <laughs> Why does this never occur to me before? <laughs> That's fucking disgusting! You can just go from here into time. <laughs> fucking shit. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. <laughs> Let me just. Let me just a fucking whiff the RC and then keep you, juggle you in the air. Uh, 632, 146HRC before the last hit, mass JP and wall supply JP from corner. That sounds absolutely terrifying. <laughs> It's only five. I manage. That's all you need. It's <laughs> just freaking. <laughs> oh, anime fighters, man. Anime fighters let you do all kinds of crazy dumb shit. Looks almost as funny as the new Rio Endless combo discovered this week. Since when did a Shoto have an endless? I gotta see that actually. That sounds kind of cool. Actually, you know what I could also do? Let me see if I can do it. Oh my god, yes. I've seen this only in combo vids, but it might be possible for me to perform it now. Not that. Oh, shit. So I have to... Okay. What if I... What if I... If I, if I dash, if I are dash or see upwards it doesn't work so I need to basically keep him air airborne as long as possible for maximum psychological damage emotional damage it's not a truly infinite it's just enough to kill every character in the game oh I see well you know what I'm glad my man Ryu has something like that still I know people doom post about every new fighting game, but every time they do, they always complain about how the old guard is now useless, yada yada yada. And I know in Street Fighter 4, there were, or Street Fighter 5 and 4, there were problems where sometimes Ryu and Ken were underpowered. Which is why Daigo changed to, switched out of them a lot. It's not the case in uh, Street Fighter 6 though, I don't think.
I wonder if I can actually... Nah. Could I? Me, that's what I need to be doing. Did I just run up there and just do punches? Made it just after sending on a JJK of, uh... JJK? That's not JoJo. Is that... What is JJK? Oh, Jujutsu Kaisen. How's that going? Maybe I'm supposed to hit down there. How do I get up there anyway? Is my question. I like freaking... I wonder if it's because I are purple R seed That's not what I wanted to do, but I guess that worked too. Do you have to cancel the purple RC to get it? Uh, I think that might be what's happening because there's obviously a frame drop or frame different, or some kind of frame cut there going on there. Because I'm like, um, fucking type, I'm pressing the buttons too fast. Which is my problem with red RCs. When I try to do red RC combos, I uh, get to I push the buttons too fast, and I end up canceling the red RC prematurely. Did you fucking see that? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I wish I could do this shit. Like, there are some people. My Kuya used to be the kind of person that he would just practice moves in training mode and he would be able to reap once he discovers something he likes he's able to replicate it almost perfectly 
I can't just mash buttons and be like, oh, that's cool. I need to keep doing that in the future. I need to actually know the the uh, theory behind what it was that I did to redo it again. Because although otherwise, I just get frustrated. I'm like, well, how did I fucking do that? Yeah, there's a mix-up I was trying to get as Kyle requires BRC cancelling and then cancelling in the BRC. Cancelception. Or I could just waste two RCs. Is it really a waste, though, if it's does what she wanted to do. I don't even know how to cancel RC, to be honest. I have just discovered how to cancel RC, apparently. High skill floor and niche application tech is the only tech worth learning. That's very true. If you can't show off your obscene combo vids on YouTube, it's showing or doing things that are completely impractical for actual ranked gameplay, or can you really call yourself a fighting game player? Because that's totally what Daigo does, right? <laughs> Just does the fanciest 30 fucking hit shit on screen. What do you mean he just throws fireballs at the corner and waits for the person to get themselves killed? <laughs> I gotta say though, in the lower levels or against people who don't know any better, this sort of thing pretty much intimidates the shit out of them and they'll probably lose the will to fight anyway after you style on them with your sick six, six hit combo, six hit punching combo. And I fucking can't. Come on. Also, I shouldn't be an optimization whore anyway. I won't be able to get half damage, half half health bar damage all the time, but getting close, I guess, is good enough for the most part. Still, it would be nice, huh? I wonder if I can just actually... Can I? No. I would have to do heavy... I'll have to do like the air combo one. Uh, heavy dash, heavy dash. Oh, shit. I fucked up to push the wrong button. Oh, for fuck's sake. One. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it's fucking just heavy dash dash there. Heavy dust, 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 dust. <laughs> Who needs any fancy shit where you can just spam dust the whole time? It's, this is. Oh, I love this game sometimes. That's fucking stupid as hell. Uh, I like that it's been recorded on stream because I wish I could just pull this shit off. See, I don't know what it, what it is either. That's allowing me to do that. Can I just go into f fucking punches then if I can't? Uh...
Or I could just do that. Hey, Beyond Live. How are you doing this evening? Welcome to the stream. How are you doing? I can't wait for if for wait for if July so I can buy some fireworks to light the fuse. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I like going to watch fireworks on Fourth of July and having barbecues and the like. The timing is so fucking tight. Jesus Christ. All right, you know what? I think that's enough fucking around. Let's go find someone to kill. Or to be killed by, I should say. So you never light the fuse at all of 4th of July and never experience it? I've done- I've launched fireworks myself before. I don't do that as much as I used to though. I did it! I did it! I was able to do the three way, the uh, three combo, the uh, kick to heavy. I did it a second time. What the fuck? I need. I need to hang on to this muscle memory. I need to hang on to this muscle memory. What's weird is I wasn't even, I was just thinking, I wasn't really thinking about it. It just kind of came out twice. I'll need to review the vids to see exactly how I did that. It's like a... I'm sure I'll get it again eventually, but... I haven't seen any DM do this, but if I were to DM for a game and have my players boss fight against a caster, I want to see the look on their faces when I eventually counterspell to heal that would save the team, cause I'm evil. That is pretty mean, actually. Bam, bam, bam. Come on. It's a uh, bam, bam. It could also just be that. Nah. You can't trick really trick the system like that. It's got to be clean. Or not at all. I know Slash is very fond of this move. But 
I don't know what the muscle movement is for it. I think I'm doing it too fast now. I'm too excited, and I just can't hide it. He almost got there. Need to... Come on! Come on! I know I can do that properly. No. Okay. Come on. There. I like how I'm taking movements that I've already memorized from other combos and I've started mixing and matching them to other to other homebrews that I'm making up like this one. Which I think is probably how you're supposed to, more or less, uh, discover routes. H T fucking god damn it. Okay, let's try it again. H D K H D. H D K H D. Sure, we can play a few rounds. I need practice anyway, which is the reason why I decided to play Guilty Gear on stream. The hair should be nice and dry now too, so I can wear my headphones. Yeah, let's get in VC. We'll do it in the uh, VTuber fighting game Discord.
Sure. Take your time. In the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and make us a room. <laughs> Mods, can you please pin the room code for me? It'd be nice. Hey Toy, how you doing? Hi, the infamous Wi-Fi player. Indeed, long time no see. Have you Indeed. been? I've been good. I think I, I have gotten better at Guilty Gear. That's good to hear. I've not I'm played a... Guilty in a while, but I do have a couple tournaments coming up, so I need to relearn the game yet again. Have you learned the Asuka matchup and or how he works yet? Because it's kind of difficult to learn. I know how he works, but I don't know how to play against him now. Okay, I, I could give you the basic rundown. I'm not very good at playing him, but I, I have like the, the strat, you know? Cool, that works. Yeah, because you'll probably run into like maybe one or two of him if you do well, you know? Oh, I'm sure I will. <laughs> okay, my game is booting up right now. Give me a second. I'm sure. The room code is in the stream, but I can also just send it to you in chat as well. Yeah, you. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Game. Okay, game booted up. Joining now. <clears throat> Communicating with server. I'm glad the servers are mostly fixed now, you know? That's good to hear. So when people start dropping out of Street Fighter 6 again, they and they come back to Strive, they'll at least have servers that are reliable again. I feel like it's almost inevitable that people will drop out of Street Fighter 6 just because it's such a different game than Strive. Hell yeah, that's just how fighting games are. Honestly, the fact that they've managed to retain 30,000 plus people on Steam alone in the past like few weeks that it's been out so far is pretty good for a fighting game. Usually they yeah. start dropping off quicker than that. What's the code? Uh, 183676. There we go. Sidewinder Sam. Mm-hmm. You want to be left it's or right? I, it is uh, you. I don't really mind. All right. I'm apparently garbage playing from the left side as opposed to the right side. I thought it would be the opposite. Oh, but, okay. So I need practice. I, I have no preference. No, no, I mean, I need practice playing on the left side. That's why. Okay, I, was gonna... I actually prefer the right side. <laughs> okay, good. Don't run. I am your friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Nice thingy. Mm-hmm. As you can see from my badges, I have put a lot of time in this game. I imagine so. the same exact way as I used to, I just have better neutral. <laughs> mm -hmm. Sure seems that way. Oh, damn. You didn't block that? No, oh. I was uh, I was in the middle of uh, the, the teabag move. Oh, uh, I got lucky then. Play the exact way as I used to. Ah! I'm not gonna be able to block that shit. <laughs> Consumed. 
Vord even. I had the um I had a pose there just in case you blocked it. <laughs> Six P is the best move. Sure seems like it. I used to Zato's actually used to be one of my worst matchups until I started taking oh just six P him to heart. I didn't realize. I did not realize. I don't didn't know I could jump over that sword, but okay. Your mix ups are crazy though. Uh I have not learned a single combo still. Are you shitting me right now? <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't know a single combo. Were you just pressing buttons? Hey, Malefic, long time no see. How you doing tonight? Yep, all this is just naturally learned uh like strings, you know. Pog. I haven't sat like in in like a in like a you know, a uh, practice room or whatever just learning any combos before. I only started actually trying to learn quote unquote how to play me properly after I got my ass hand to me in a May centric tournament. And oh, I was like, sense. yeah. And when I listen when I watched back on the uh, stream because I was on I also was really unlucky and had got my set streamed, the announcers could were confused because they were commenting that apparently I was uh I was lo mainly losing to very common May tropes, and they commented that as far as their critique concerned, they said I should uh, check some of the... should basically check some of that stuff out, because apparently it was... Uh, they weren't being mean about it or anything. I'm, 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 kind of, I'm kind of fucking up what they were trying to say, but they were basically yeah. trying to give advice on how to play May, and I was doing some very... some very... Uh, Predictable, predictable stuff. So that's for. And I mean, when I'm getting that, when you're getting that from a group of prof people who specialize only in May, it kind of, it kind of means something. <laughs> yeah. But uh, so I learned only like a couple combos. I did the uh very learned the very very basic corner combo, and I don't some bread and very, butter for any some, character. I have learned like two, maybe one or two, made bread and butters, and everything else I've just been bullshitting because you pretty much can just mix and match at that point once you know how what converts into what. Yeah. Ah! The way I play is very confusing, isn't it? Uh, I would s a little bit. I will say that she, I noticed that you actually mix him. You actually mix. You seem. You seem very comfortable playing inside and outside. Most autos uh, I play against, they just tend to spam summons from. And they don't like. They are very uncomfortable up close. I guess. Yeah. It's because the way I play uh, is actually. I'm just playing Sin Kiske. Are you shitting me right now? Oh. <laughs> You're playing... Are you playing Zatu like Sin? <laughs> yep. Um, Malefic, I didn't know you played Strive. You should play with us sometime. Uh, I can also give you the role in our Discord if you like. So if you, we play Strive, you can get pinged for it. The thing is, Sin and Zatu actually have very similar, um, just, you know, normals. Mm-hmm. Like, their normals are almost identical. Aw. Uh, that is honestly a comparison, Sin and Zato, that I would have never expected. Since Zato is so zone heavy. Yeah. Only recently got? Oh, cool, cool. I mean, if you got time tonight, you could play with us. I got an open. We got. I got an open lobby. Fuck! <laughs> Predicted. Predictable. I challenge the Lamel. My are very good from uh, compared to other people I've noticed. Here, it sure seems that way, yeah. Ow, ow, ow. Sup? Ah, uh, shoot. Ah! That crab seemed kind of. So I thought you were farther away than that. <laughs> You challenge yeah, us? I'm just, 
Oh, uh, sorry. I'm just really good at like the the spacing for grabs. Ow. Consumed again. Uh, yeah, Malefic. Um, let me go ahead and if you want to play with us, go ahead and boot up the game. And I got the room code on the screen that you can join. I'll show you my, hey, Lana. my sin gameplay. Good evening. And you'll see a lot of crossovers. Let's do it then. How are you doing, Hiroshi? <laughs> There we go. I may be bad. That's alright. Who isn't bad when they first start playing fighting games? Yeah, I was pretty bad when I met Lawler, to be honest with you. Just really confusing because no one really knew what I was doing. Same thing now, you know? I don't think you were bad. Maybe average. Your fundamentals were a lot, uh, a lot more solid than mine. Which is, to be fair, not saying much because my fundamentals are garbage in video games, but... Uh, still. I thought you were okay. Uh, Ow. Did you play... I think you did main Sin Kiski when we first met, didn't you? Nope. Zato. Oh. Huh. I don't know why I thought you were a Sin player. Interesting. Uh, I played Sin in the in the post uh, tourney lobby. Oh, that's why. Good evening. Yeah. How's your night going? My night's going great, actually. Thanks for asking. What about yours? <laughs> ow! 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 Do I punch you? Do I punch you? No, I don't nope. punch you. Malefic has entered the room. Welcome to the stream, Malefic. Uh, let me go ahead... One second. Let me go yeah. ahead and uh, give Malefic a uh, invite to the VTuber fighting game Discord as well. Yeah. In case they you want to the chill with us. You between my Zata and Sin gameplay though, right? A little bit. It's just I haven't played much Sin recently. Do, do, do. Shit. Then fine. Okay, we'll go here. We'll go here. I have to do this manually because I have streamer protection on at the moment. Message. Paste. There we go. Up to two. I don't. Some, when protective measures just get in the fucking way of everything, it's just, I don't know. Yeah. But I know why those are there. But uh, yeah, feel free to chill with some voice chat if you like. Anyway, welcome to the stream, Gamer Angel. How are you doing this evening? You just finished streaming and decided to hop on here. I should have raided. It's okay. There'll be time for other raids. But thank you for thinking of me. <laughs> Much support, distinct lack of run-up throw. Yeah, actually, you know, you have a good point. I don't... Um, I think my time playing Street Fighter VI has perhaps gotten gotten me to stop waste their, stop doing run-up throws for once. That's something I didn't, didn't expect I would end up doing either. <laughs> my, my invincible super was not invincible. Shame. Uh, it's because you activated your super first, and I activated second. Second wins. That is true. Or at least as far as Invisi works, I think it's supposed to win. Ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow. Ow, ow, ow. Ow, ow. Enough of that. Funny thing, right? Sin actually has uh, slower buttons than Zato does in uh, in neutral. I do. Why? Yep. Uh, he's the bottom one character for a reason. I thought it was. I actually did wonder why he was considered the worst character in Strive at the moment. Uh, so you know Beak Driver, right? This thing right here. Yeah, really annoying it's thing that pokes. Minus eleven from... on hit. 
Minus 11? On hit. Huh. I wouldn't have Not expected on that. On hit. Oh shit. What was that? Uh, that's called me trying to do another super and then realizing I didn't have enough tension. Too late. Oh. I do that a lot. They also have the same exact specials as well. Like, like the inputs. Mm-hmm. Ah! Missed. Uh, does it miss? Well, that didn't miss. Oh, damn it. Nice, three hits. <laughs> Lurk support, much supports. Very gamer. So someone joined the lobby? Hey, Malefic, how you doing? Hi. <laughs> welcome, welcome. Hello. Hello. Are you new to the game? Uh, yes. Yes and no. Who would you like Who to fight first? <laughs> uh... I'll take lol. <laughs> Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Do you want to be on left or player on uh, left or right? Yeah, I took right. All right. Ooh, we here. play Eno. Pronouns, by the way. Uh, yes. Okay, got it. Awesome. This is the only one I know how to play, and I don't know all the buttons either. That's fine. I only ever play May. I had a very, very short stint with Bridget, and I was like, nah, I'm not good enough to learn more than one character right now. I triple main characters. I feel that. <laughs> I wonder if this one just came came more easily to me than any of the rest. Og. If I could just change the color of May's clothes on this uh, mod to red to the, her red version, this would be Chef's kiss. You know. Wait, can I can I submit a mod for you to download, uh, Lawler? Sure. What is it? Uh, check DMs in a hot second. Sure. It wouldn't happen to be Shadow Wizard Asuka Gang, would it? Nope. <laughs> Let's try to remember all the buttons. Now, once once the match is over, check your DMs. Sure. Did you, like, do any of the combo trials for Eno yet, or...? Ah, no, I didn't know those were a thing. Oh. I mean, it's not like Street Fighter VI where everyone has very specific combo trials, but there is a few that are character-specific that teach some uh, basic bread and butters and basic uh, moves, more or less. Yeah, I would do the, um, I would do, what is it called, the dojo, because that has, like, a tutorial for every single mechanic, and I, by every, I mean every single mechanic. Mm-hmm. In fact, it even teaches you mechanics for the knight not necessarily apply to your specific character. Like, there's a lot- they use Soul Bad Guy a lot because he should, he's a Shoto along with Kai Kiski, but some of them just don't apply to Mei and yeah, vice they versa. they teach a lot of universal mechanics and a few character-specific ones, but mm -hmm. most of them are really useful. Good pressure. Honestly, that mace move that Eno does fucks me up a lot sometimes because of how it starts and the fact that it's like a two hit. Yeah, yeah check the DMs, check the DMs. Do, do, do. Let me see, what would you got going on here? Oh no! <laughs> is that fucking chip? It is. Yep. <laughs> well, it's worth it, right? Uh, it is worth it. I currently have hit Strider to hear you, or not Strider to hear you, um, Strider, uh, I currently have Hayu, uh, Ryu Hayabusa from Ninja Gaiden. Not Ninja Gaiden, it's a Ninja Gaiden. sweep. As Chip, but I wouldn't mind using the, the, uh, mascot's character for a little bit. Technically, Dodo Mizaki is like training uh, like with Mei right now, so like lore-wise. Why is he training with Mei? 
uh, because he wants to be more useful for um, for like you know chip or whatever. Mm -hmm. Or I think he's like teaching May some ninja moves or whatever. Uh, it's it's part of their their story in the arcade. It's been a while. Oh. So, so like lore wise, it would make sense for you, you know. Mhm. Mm uh, Steel, we're currently in the VTuber fighting game Discord. That's why you do not see us at the moment. Let me read the lore real quick. All right. Oh, yeah, affiliation May chips it off. Um. Um. Dodo Mizaki is a minor character appearing in Guilty Gear series. He is one of May's aquatic friends who is currently going under, undergoing training under Chip's tutelage. So Dodo Mizaki actually is like one of May's like summons, I guess. Oh, really? So it's not one of Chip's friends? Yeah, it's one of May's friends who is now training under Chip. Okay. So it does make a lot of sense. Although I have to ask, why is he large? Well, we, we that's just a gameplay mechanic thing. We don't need to ask why he's so large. <laughs> Yeah. Want to play again, or do you want to fight against uh, our toy next? I will play again, and then I will fight against the other one. I don't know okay. the other one's name yet. Ooh. Ventahack is here too. Pog, welcome to the stream, Ventahack. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Fucking yeeted. Should I go live? I I could go live. It's up to you. We do have Wait. four VTubers in the room at the moment, so. Let me go live. Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I like how I can pretty much tell people that, oh, yeah, I do collabs all the time because technically, technically, anytime I stream and play fighting games with people on this server, it's a collab when you really think about it. Oh. Let's go. I'm live now. That's how long it takes for me to set up my stream. Let's go. I'm going to go find Caleb. <laughs> my, my, my stream setup takes like 0.2 seconds, you know? Mm hmm So is it my turn? Uh, on the podium? It looks like Ventahack has got Bedman set up already. Um, let me go ahead and get out of here, and then we'll let y'all fight next, and I'll spectate. And then, oh, unless, and then I could go fight Ventahack actually in a different, uh, whatever you call these things. Or you could fight. Uh, Vent oh, oh no. Arcade. Okay. Are you just sitting out there by yourself right now? No. Hey, Dr. Paradigm. Welcome to the stream. How are you doing this evening? Uh-oh. Hey, are you just sitting out there by yourself right now? I exited the thing in order to go to a different drive or fighting thingamajigger, but then uh, it appears that uh, Malefic has started a fi has uh, started fighting Ventahack. <laughs> okay. Uh, wait, I think they're sharing their screen right now, actually, so you can just check off of there. Oh, let's see. Oh, Ventahack's actually in ch in voice chat right now. Yeah. Pog. <laughs> oh dear lord. Um, Funny enough, uh, Bedman's considered bottom one. <laughs> Bedman bottom one? No way. Yeah. I thought the, the thing is, uh, his his uh, normals are really like slow, and also he doesn't like keep his uh, follow ups after um after you know he gets hit, even if he blocks it. Rip. So if you can pressure him or like you know react to a lot like a lot of his attacks, he's he's really slow. But at the same time, it's like high tier, you know, bottom one. For low tiers, <laughs> he he kind of he kind of is really hard to like attack, you know. Yeah, I suppose. He does have that one uh sick combo where he just goes across the whole screen that fucks people over if they don't if they are not used to seeing it already. Yeah, yeah. A big part of him, is, uh, his like kit, right, is that he's just really hard to um tell what he's like doing at any one point because he's he's supposed to be a clutter character you know um, kind of like an excerpt you're telling um, me i feel like i feel like i can't keep track of everything that's going on yeah, when i'm fighting what the fuck is happening anymore. especially since some of his moves are auto are like automatic and they just they're kind of randomish having the good uh, get to here yes we are period. jesus fuck what just happened <laughs> you just got bed manned <laughs> 
Oh, well, shoot, also Vent- to... well, also Ventec is a fairly decent player, so... Uh... <laughs> I'm restarting I, my game I, right now because, I, I um... One because, one. like, I... I the other one that I was supposed yeah. to play. Uh... Having the good Guilty Gears? I'm having a great Guilty Gears right now, Dr. Paradigm. Thank you for asking. It's always a great time playing fighting games with uh, VTube friends, to be honest. I am an enemy. Why are you an enemy? Because I am. I'm evil. <laughs> now, let me grab my oh, code from no. your room again. Uh, Ste also, Steel, if you want to play Guilty Gears with us in voice chat, I can just send you a invite link to the uh, server again. Also, one thing, uh, you two, if you guys don't, like, leave the match and rejoin, then Lawler can't actually, like, uh, watch the fight. Even if, uh, you know, even if it stops. Yeah, because the, the spectate option only works if they, like, get off the stand and get back on, you know, before you do whatever. So you can't actually watch it until, you know, whatever happens. Yeah, I was thinking about, in the meanwhile, I could probably just stream the stream that's being streamed on Discord. That you, is true, or, or I could fight you a bit. Or you um, could fight me a bit, yeah. No, we could do that where's too. Where's the code again? Waiting for Guilty Gear to go on sale before you grab it. How much is it right now? 40 bucks? Let me see Yeah, here. 40 bucks. Uh, I really do appreciate how they give you an option of which DLC to get instead of like forcing you to buy the entire like you know thing. That's true. Uh, I'm they... just celestial though. Damn, that's scary. Yeah, I would say with confidence that I would say, I would say in my opinion, Ventahex probably one of the better Guilty Gear players in the south in the uh, Southeast Asia region. So, oh, okay, not too surprised. Oh, no. It's take a while for me to connect to the room right now. Oh no. Uh, Strive oh, no. is $40 for the standard edition. Hmm. Oh. We're back now. Uh, Toylan wanted to fight you next, but they're currently... Having room trouble. Mm -hmm. Uh, Par or Dr. Paradigm, once you get a copy of Guilty Gears, feel free to let us know so we can play together. Um, it feel it's kind of funny. It's there's this weird thing. There's this kind of funny thing going on where it feels like almost every VTuber type that I know who plays fighting games plays Guilty Gear Strive. It's Come like on, it's like the VTuber oh, game. Who's fighting me? Uh, you're it fighting is... Malefic now. Okay, Malefic. How how easy do you want me to go on you from like one to fifty? One to fifty? Yes. I have, like, a no experience in the game whatsoever. <laughs> okay, give me a second then. I mean, he's... I guess they're okay with either playing someone at a similar level or getting pummeled because I held back the first game and I didn't hold back the second game. Oh, yeah. If I'm I not sure if you could tell her. Kiske? Or... This game. No, I'm playing Eno now. Oh. <laughs> Eno's fun. I don't know how to play Eno, though. It was the only one that I've been even half decent at with any of them. Yeah. Oh shit, that overhead. Okay. Memes, the mods lol? Indeed. Indeed. As soon as mods became available for Strive, I got on that shit. <laughs> I mean, also that's part of the reason why I'm playing as a Robo May. Robo May is not a stock character. She only exists in uh, official Arxis memes, sadly. But as soon as they announce, if they ever announce a canon Robo May, I'm gonna be on that shit. Nice. Whoop, whoop. That was good. Not really. Whoop. You know, grab is so weird because she's always in the air. You know. You know, as far as characters go, is just the fact that all her dashes and most of her moves start from the air is kind of nuts. A bongo, bongo, bongo. You do have Street Fighter 6? Oh, cool. Who do you mean Street Fighter 6? Oh. I 
I got burst baited just then. Oh, that was a good poke. Oh yeah, Eno's movement is so weird. It's weird, but it's a fun movement. Indeed. Eno in general is just a really fun character to be honest. Get 6 p lol. Oh, fuck. You just can't escape from Batman either. God damn, he's a fucking tank. Jury no. and Marissa? No. Oh my god. Go. Wait, is I that a combo? Wait, that's a combo? What? <laughs> hmm? I, I just kept spamming her, her low stroke, the big tree. Yes, that's what the attack actually is called. <laughs> There's one called an antidepressant scale, too. Yeah. But is that an actual combo? Damn. Currently learning Kimberly. Very nice. Uh, I currently play Ken. I don't really feel like switching out of anyone else right now, but if I did, it might be Ken. I would. I would love to try a Kimberly out sometime. I also am terrible against juries. In fact, I'm so terrible, I started making jury my nemesis recently. <laughs> like me and Bridget. You don't like playing against Bridget's? Oh, no, no. I, I'm just really good against Bridget. Oh, okay. I have like a 57 win rate against them with like 200 matches. Bruh. I am the anti-Bridget player. Yeah. My god. I'm fine with Testament though, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. No, Ow. I actually really enjoy fighting Bridget. That's why I fight her so much. And she was also the most popular character while I um while I started, because I start right after Sin, right? Mm hmm And you know, uh, she's a character before Sin and like actually good now. Mm hmm You know, so it's like, huh. You know, I mean, I'm, I I'm gonna run into a lot of her. I mean Brisket was okay oh. on release too. Yeah. I don't Sin is not. Oh, Sin is not. Sin is a tragedy, unfortunately. Brisket. Sin needs an antidepressant scale. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I go for a regular grab when I've been practicing command grab all stream? I can't believe I actually have played Strive for so long without trying to learn how to do maze command grab uh, on the regular, but then you fuck. Then I decide to pick Ken up in Street Fighter 6, and you need to know how to do Z movements, or just you shouldn't play Ken. <laughs> so now it's like if I can do Z movements with Ken, I should be able to do it with Mei, that even is. though nah, you have to do it at close range anyway. But yeah, Steel, um, if you're still in watching the stream, if you want to play Strives with us, feel free to pop into the lobby. But we are in a different voice chat. We are in a uh, in the VTuber Fighting Game Community Discord's voice chat right now. Charge characters are the bane of your existence? Oh no. I'm guessing that Guile is your worst... I guess you don't like fighting Guiles then. I thought I would pick up Guile because of playing a charge Aren't character. There, like, eight but... May, like basically comparisons in the game because there's like 50 characters which just throw themselves at you in, in Street Fighter? Um, Because there's like E. Honda who kind of throws himself at you, right? Yeah, then he... There's... there's a lot of memes lately with E. Honda being for best friends with Mei because they both Tatsugeki. That's the only thing I know how to do. <laughs> so no Chun-Li or Guile for me, more so I can't play them. Yeah, I can't get a hang of Chun-Li either. You yeah, know, I hate I hate that move so much, man. It always gets me whenever someone does against me. Moonbird uh, kick. This one? I uh, know, uh, this one. To block that one, you have to do a low block, by the way. Because any uh, any low attacks, right, you have to block by with a low guard, right? So you, you block like that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready? Huh. Yeah, see? Meanwhile, any overheads, right? For example, like this one right here, you have to do a high block against, right? So do a high block real quick. Just a regular block, right? Yeah, yeah, that, that's just like a normal normal block. Ready? See, that blocks it, right? Meanwhile, yeah. lows, like that one, or like this one, right? You have to do a low block against. So that's why you were getting hit by it over and over, because you weren't doing the correct block. Uh -huh. You just wanted to be a helicopter. <laughs> you know what, big fair. Oh. 
Despite, you would think that the helicopter attack would be similar to Mei's Upper Tatsugeki, but I can never get it right. It al I always get the timing wrong somehow, or in some way. Ow, 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 ow. Ooh. Eno's fun. I don't yeah. really like her movement, though. Her movement's, like, completely opposite to what I'm used to. If you like Eno's movement, do not play, uh, do not play, uh, Azato. Ah! No! <laughs> Shit! Uh, nothing like getting, uh, archer in the face. scares me man mm -hmm. Pog. Eno scares me uh, she's, she's oh, do you play Eno because you like music by the way uh I played the pet got it it's for another reason then makes sense <laughs> it's for multiple reasons oh no maybe you just like punk it could also be the punk aesthetic am I right Hell, yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. I play Zato because he uh, he plays like Sin, but good. I typically make my character choices based off who's the cutest. Oh no! Yeah. That, that's why I originally played the one with the giant anchor. Like if Sakura was, or it was in Street Fighter Six, I would have chosen her, but she's not. So Canada's either Fight. Sakura or, Matoko, or Makoto. By the way, uh, what do you guys use? Fight stick or like controller? Fight stick. Makes sense. I just got a fight stick. Very recently. I like have a post fight stick somewhere. It was the reason I bought the game and then I lost it. Oh. Oh. How do you lose a fight stick? Was it like a Hori Mini or something? No, it was a Razor fight stick. Like the new one? Ah, uh, I, I don't know. How do you lose one of those? <laughs> Wait, what did you lose? A razor fight stick. Oh, the Panthera? Hey, Chaos. You know there's a character called Chaos with a CH? Happy Chaos. Ah, shit. We hate, we hate him. We need to kill Chaos. I'm gonna kill Chaos. Bullshit. Is blazing. Oh, damn it. Almost got you. <sighs> <laughs> Actually, uh, Dr. Paradigm, do you want to link to the VTuber fighting game Discord as well? Even to this day, there's actually a lot of VTubers who are not aware that we have our own extent, our fighting game flavor community, more or less. First baited. If you're wondering what this guy does, he plays card games. Children's card and games. Ah. He has a deck of 30 cards, and he has three decks actually, each with 30 cards which do completely different things. And he randomly Pog. draws them. Alright, after this game, I'll send you a link. Give me. What the fuck is that? Uh, they're playing a card game, of course. <laughs> this is the most recently released character, Asuka. And now that Ventahex got his groove on, I'm being destroyed. Ah! Rip. Rip! Oh. GG's Venta. You should fight him next, uh, Toy. 
No. Helpful. And I'll play with Malefi again. I mean, if you're up for it. Okay. Do, do, do. And let me just get the. <laughs> dime. Wizard gang. The existence of how you put. Shadow wizard money gang. Indeed. Shadow wizard money gang. Also, uh, Yu Gi Oh! Wait, Yu Gi Oh! Online? Is that what YGO means? I don't know what that means. <laughs> Wait, Lawler, you need to learn the you need to learn the matchup uh, against um, Pasca, right? Oh yeah, I mean I was I, just I playing Pasca the but... while they play each other. Sure. Yeah, I'm up here, Lawler. All right. Oh, am I gonna die again? Okay. Uh, Doctor Paradigm, I've also sent you a link to the Yo. server. I'm ready <laughs> for death. Everyone... I hate happy cast, man. Pretty much everyone has to have their uh, for cut their teeth on Happy Chaos for the first time ever. Chaos, by the way, do you do you, do you play Guilty Gear? Okay, so basically, Lawler, so you see the, the four icons on the bottom there, right there? Mm -hmm. Those are cards, right? And they allow me to use mana to, to cast Ow. them, see? Yep. Um, the second card there is a modifier card, which modifies other cards, right? For example, mm -hmm. this one moves slower than it normally would because of the staff right here, see? Oh, Other I see. moving really slowly. Mm -hmm. um, the last card on the slot reduces their mana cost, so now each spell I cast costs less mana. Right? Hog. Mm -hmm. This uh, this other modifier card right here speeds up spells instead. See? Mm -hmm. um, reduced mana card, and then you see the number. Yeah, I see him. The number is how many cards I have left in the deck before it rolls over. So you can actually card count in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you see how I I ran out of mana. Now yep. I take double damage. So now try hitting me with anything. Look how much damage that does. Oh yeah, it's because your shield's gone. Yeah, that's because I have no more mana. And for some reason, my command grabs are being whipped again. God damn okay. it. Wait, wait, wait. I need okay, to practice. Me... I need... Yeah, fucking... Please. Finally. It took okay, forever. So this, right? so mm -hmm. this other card here draws your entire hand. Yeah, Any empty slot gets filled. See? Mm-hmm. Um, cards can pretty much be spammed as fast as they can, as long as you have mana. So look at this. Wait, let, let me regenerate mana real quick. Ready? Mm -hmm. I've never seen any Asuka players spam those like that before. That's kind of cool. If you get hit by it, it's actually a true combo with all those. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> yeah, so I, so you, you know, they can't just do that, right? And now, um, now that I'm, I'm almost out of mana, right? There's three ways to regenerate. Normal way? Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. Welcome to the server, Paradigm, or Dr. Paradigm. Let me just spam cards on you real quick. Ow, yeah, ow, ow, ow. Combo. Okay, so now I, I have the normal recovery, right? Mm -hmm. Which is green recovery. Yeah. I have uh, kick recovery, which is using my tension, right? Mm hmm And then uh, let me just, you know, waste my mana real quick. Mm hmm That reminds me, I need to add the Shadow Wizard Money Gang skin to Asuka. Okay, so now there's also the health uh, health uh, recovery. Look how fast my health drops when I use this one. Oh, it actually uses your health? Yeah, that one uses my health for the fastest possible recovery. Hmm. So now you probably notice the number is slightly different, right? It's yep. like a different color now? Yeah, That's because uh... I drew my second deck, right? Mm hmm So now this is the green deck, and it has like its own list of spells that aren't in like the other deck. Mm -hmm. So for example, this one right here makes gravity happen. God. This one right here, um, you know, makes me able to like recast spells, etc, etc, right? That's just kind of ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, uh, so now I have this thing right here, which allows me to swap out all the cards in my deck instead of like just rehashing them. This mm -hmm. is a really slow projectile. Uh, this is a mana reach, like fill-in card, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, there's like different projectiles like that as well, and some are like multi-hit projectiles as well. Mm -hmm. Um, he has a lot of different cards, you know, 30, 30 different cards. And like three different decks. Yeah. And then, uh, let me move to the next deck real quick. I really need to practice my command grabs again. Fuck me. Oh no. I don't, I could have sworn that maybe 
You know what? It might be that Street Fighter is a lot easier to do Z-motions than Guilty Gear. I have no problem with Z-motions in this game. I I keep whiffing them like crazy. I don't whiff them nearly as much in Street Fighter for some fucking reason. Okay, so now let me show you the third deck. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now this is the blue deck, right? Mm -hmm. So look, so this deck is like the, the gimmick deck, right? Mm -hmm. so look at this. Bruh. Literally DL. Now I can make projectiles go backwards. Bruh. So so this is like a gravity thing. Oh, um, okay, that card was mana regen. That was a multi hit card. I can't believe you open a a portal into Look, Flatland. Regen. Yeah. Just natural regen right there. Mm-hmm. Mana speed uh, projectile speed up. So now look at this. Bruh. Oh, okay. So so the next card is really interesting. Mm -hmm. So that one swaps cards, teleports. <laughs> okay, so now look. Every time I draw a card, it automatically uh, draws an. Every time I cast a card, it automatically draws another one. This allows me to swap any card I want. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, this one has like double cast. Oh, this one swaps the card. For, uh, so now, anytime I cast cards, I can double cast them now. See? <laughs> That's kind of ridiculous. I'm not gonna lie. Um, okay, yeah. The the third thing right here will just like re re uh, allow me to cast cards as much as I want, pretty much. So mm -hmm. now I can I can do stuff like this. Wow. Um, you can punch every one of Asuka's projectiles out of existence. By the way. So so like like let me let me attack you with so look look how time this one increases with time right so the longer I hold this in my hand the the more uh, projectiles it has all right um, but every projectile Oscar has that's like a square you can actually hit so here now just just hit it with anything you don't have to six p it you you can hit it with anything it will go away are you yeah as long as you hit it before it hits you you know yeah see. That's Even actually good to know. That normally, like you know, dangerous will allow you to get past that. I wonder if I can hit it with a dolphin. You can. Uh, no, that's probably not a good idea. A dolphin for or, tell me ready. Yep. Oh, yeah, see, yeah, you can. Um, this one right here is just like an AOE, so you can't hit that, you know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's an explosive. Have oh, a good. No. Thanks for playing with us, Ventahek. Uh, but yeah, now if you hit me, right, I actually lose mana anytime you hit me as well, right? Oh, have good eats. Now I can double damage, mm -hmm. right? Uh, whenever you hit me, all my spells in existence will also disappear, minus like the modifier cards, right? Mm -hmm. So if let's say I'm casting a spell, right? Uh, let me let me just cast this and then like jump over and uh, this is like a really slow projectile. Jump over it and or uh, uh yeah, and then like you know hit me, or you know it, it would have disappeared anyways. But you get it, right? Yeah, I get it. Um. Always block low against him, by the way, because you want to see his low, his mm -hmm. like low dust. Sure. Okay, so so this this range right here. Oh. That's his low dust. That's a really long dust. What the fuck? I mean. Wow, that's like half the screen. That counts as a low, you know. So if you, if you if you ever stand guard against him, you're you're like dead, you know. Mhm. Mm uh, he does have overheads though. No overheads for you. Nah. <laughs> he has a cooler. He has a cooler grab than you do. Oh, some of his spells are overheads or lows as well. By the way, so you have to be careful about that. Scary. Oh, that reminds me. So you know how how I had like the cube super that I showed you. Mm-hmm. Uh, he also has a circle variant, which isn't affected by modifier cards. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can actually choose to affect his uh, his super with modifiers or without them. So he could, like, speed up a super, or he could slow it down. Or he could just ignore it. <laughs> oh, also, whenever he holds, uh, he holds a card, right? Mm -hmm. Or whenever he casts a card, he can hold back and press the button again to to redraw. So see. Mm -hmm. So that makes it so that his draw speed is actually really fast, as long as he's not just spamming cards back to back. I see. 
But now he takes a lot of damage. Try try any of your combos on him right now. Alright. Uh what should I do? You were you ran out of time. Damn. That was a sick ass combo I just did though. <laughs> Yeah, but you can see that he's a very scary character if he gets lucky. Mm-hmm. Um, especially if he, he gets mana regen plus, like, the draw card. Because if he auto-draws after he casts, and he also gets, like, mana regen, he, he does insane amounts of damage. You can, uh... He has less health than Chip when he has, doesn't have this, so yeah. Look how much damage that did. A stupid amount of damage. But yeah, that's your Asuka 101 right there. Lovely. Cannot wait to play against him in the upcoming tournament. He's actually not that difficult to fight against. At least in the tower. Mm hmm. I think... I'm not sure who my worst matchup currently is right now. Me. In Strive. It might me. be... Hmm? It's me. No. It's not. It's probably Kai yeah. Kiske. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I can play Kai Kisuke. Kai Who's Kisuke fighting Kai. who next? Oh, Foss player. Are you? I am a I... Foss. You're the, the Faust. Time ever, because he looks cool. I Fou? shall play better Faust, a.k.a. Asuka. Faust? Don't you mean Eva01? Is it Eva or Eva? Eva, Eva. Oh, potato, no, potato. Stand. Shame. Do you see the stream? Nope. <laughs> nah. I will play a bit on the tower. Tell me once you guys are done. No problem. You should you should get a lot of Asuka experience because Asuka is actually really like difficult to fight against if you don't like know the one on one on him, you know. Mhm. Mm I'm surprised there aren't are there a lot of people playing Asuka right now. Really. Hmm. It's probably because Street Fighter Six released, but usually when a new character comes makes out, for around ten percent of characters right now. Usually when a new character comes out, everyone wants to play them. So that's kind of surprising. The problem is he's like a super high difficulty, you know? Mm-hmm. No one wants to do any card counting just to play video games. Yeah, he plays 10%. So he's like around the same, um, same like popularity as Biken. I would think that Biken would be more popular than that, personally. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, PP. I met a few V or uh, one of my VTuber friends started playing Strive, so I was like, "Hey, let's let's uh, let's attack him with my Zato." And that's <laughs> how we got here. Indeed. My Zato is a war crime. <laughs> Have you settled on a main yet, uh, Malefic? By the way. On a what? Have you settled on the main yet? A main character, I mean. Oh. Uh, no. Hmm. Play Sin Kisuke. No. <laughs> Why not? Because he's gonna have. A, because they're gonna have a bad time, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. But he's fun. Sin Kisuke is totally a good and fair character that is not at all nerfed. Sus. You, do you know that he was actually nerfed? He was kind of messy when he first got released, to be fair. Even on release, he was bottom one, though. Happy Chaos got buffed in the same patch. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Buffed how? 
so basically it was just like a uh, like a fix for a lot of like the bugs for like some of the moves, right? Mm -hmm. Um Have a good night, uh, Hiroshi. Sin, Sin lost one of his like really janky conversions, right? Mm -hmm. Uh meanwhile Happy Chaos got like a few extra mechanics. Thank you for the hydrate redeem. Oh I see. Oh shit. I whiffed that one. Melee is scary, man. Yeah. On the rare occasion that you run into one. Melia really lost one match to me and said, nah. I get it, though. <laughs> Damn. Getting the hydrate redeems with me gamer subs. I found a soulmate named Monkey. Monkey D. Luffy? No, just monkey. Monkey see monkey do? Monkey with an E. Monkey. Return to monkey. Hydrate Redeem has been consumed. More video? Is there any other character you think about playing? Play Asuka. Rawr. Asuka. Play Asuka. Good character. <laughs> Sus. Among us. Asuka's kind of scary though, isn't he, when he combos you? Mm-hmm. It's just like, spam! Spam! Spam, spam, green eggs and ham. Oh, oh god, it's you. Three of his decks do completely different things. Mm-hmm. That sounds terrifying. That's like screaming random bullshit goat. Pretty much. Oh no, that, that, that's how you play him. I love it. <laughs> Memes, the DNA of the soul. Kill true moly. Your tick throws true. I for gore. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Geo is actually kind of sick once you figure out what her moves do. Geo, Geo is actually really good. Also, very beginner friendly character. Mm -hmm. Ow, see, I, I can see if I can get that one down. That is a very important part for toolkit doing cross up, doing that cross up. Ah! And also her dash grab. I think that's actually that's her command grab, isn't it? I guess it is. That's we got a command grab. So she's get up in the enemy's face. Mhm. Mm yep. Rush down. Monkey.
doing her shit is such a pain. This game's a pain. Generally, um, rest your rest your uh, rest your fingers and uh, try uh, to commit to your attacks as opposed to just pressing them to see what happens. As opposed to just like jamming them, I guess. My viewer Moldy, also known as my friend Moldy, right? Is mm -hmm. just typing "kill" in my chat over and over. It's kind of funny. Kill. Also, a few things about Geo. When she starts changing color, her defense her, her defense goes up, and she doesn't take as much damage. Oh. I don't know what activates that though. Uh, tension. Oh, okay. So I guess it increases with her tension. Yeah, she's made to be a very beginner-friendly character because she has auto combos, and she also uh, doesn't require use of tension because she gets buffed in multiple ways, including her frame data. It's probably part. My tension. It's Not probably. Tension is or how it works. Good night, Moldy. It's probably part of the reason why a lot of Geo players I play against don't even bother using their specials. They just hold on to it. Uh, tension is what you use to do supers, basically. Tension is also the force created when you pull two objects away from each other. Or, <laughs> yeah. Like, you have full tension right now, so you have max defense. And I... And fast on frame data. I'm gonna summon a whale using my tension. Block. There you go. Honestly, Very I think nice, she is the ideal beginner character because uh, she, she does a lot of things for you. Uh, Gio has auto combos. Uh, her uh, heavy kick or her kick kick or heavy 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 is auto combo. Doggo. If you, if you just keep spamming heavy, it auto uh, it auto air combos uh, for like four hits, three hits. That's an auto combo, right? What is? Just heavy, heavy, uh, 6 H, 6 H, 6 H with Geo. I th don't. I don't play Geo, so I can't confirm, but I do know she has some moves that the bread and butters are pretty much just pressing the same button a few times, so. Yeah. It's probably the case. I see someone scrub coding in my lobby right now. They said these glue eating a pot players SMH. Damn. Why is it that when it comes to pot, people either love or hate them? Uh, well, I guess I could. He's, he's good at stealing kills, and also he's a chronic uh, noob stomper. Because like once you get higher, he's a really bad character because of like his low movement stuff, right? But if you don't know how to counter him, he is really strong. Mega of, like, fist. Just high damage. Yeah. Mega fist. Mega fist. Mega Fist. His counter is not intuitive for a lot of newbies, so you know, yeah, that's why people hate him. Mega Fist. Oh. Mega Fist is a really good defensive move. I didn't know for the longest time that you could just grab people out of uh, Hammerfall either, which is kind of funny. I knew right away because I love grabbing pot players. I grab I'm a bad person. Grabbing pot players is just like a power move, but it becomes addicting when you do it too much, and it's like you start forgetting that they are the grappler character. No, I'm the grappler character. I have a command grab. We all have command grabs, though. Most characters don't. Sin doesn't, for example. He also doesn't have a projectile. Bruh. He's also the only character who has like a meter that doesn't have a way to refill the meter manually. Oh. Good character, you know? Mm hmm He does have funny food that he can eat, though, for healing. Um, it heals, like, 6% max. It's still healing. Clearly broken. <laughs> that is true. Do you know that his the majority of his buffs just buff you for 1.6 seconds? Wait, really? Yep. What's the point in that? Are they supposed to be used as far as combos or something? 
Uh, it's because most of his uh, buffs, right, have like a roll where they roll to see how long they last, and you have a third of a chance, right, which is like the highest percentile chance, right, mm -hmm. to just get the lowest roll, which is one, which is two seconds, right, but it kicks in 0.6 seconds before the animation's done. Mm -hmm. um, so his buffs normally last around 1.6 seconds on average. Mm -hmm. And um, the most average roll, I think, is like plus 3% damage for 1.6 seconds. Pog. Oh. Good character. <laughs> Who are you gonna play next? Uh, good play question. Sin. Find out. <laughs> play Sin. Sin. I only have the base characters. I will say. Oh yeah, yeah. Doesn't have. To, they don't have the DLC characters, unfortunately. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> play Sin. Play May, obviously. Play best oh, girl. May. May is top tier right now. Play best cur play best curl. Uh, I will play best girl. Fog. In before do you play Eno? <laughs> if you haven't yet, you should at least try it. We should try out Kaikisuke Soul and May as who are basically the shadows of this game, at least uh, once. May was the first one just because she's adorable. Oh, very nice. See, you have ta you have good taste. Uh, funny enough, the main character actually isn't a Shoto. He's a rushdown. Soul bad guy? Yeah, soul bad guy's a rushdown. Huh. Kai's a Shoto. I always kind of figured soul bad. I kind of always kind of compared soul bad guy to Ken, more or less, while Kai is the Ryu. They're, they're completely different characters, though. I'm you, but more aggressive and more annoying. Okay, okay, okay. So, uh, I respect so, Guilty uh, Gear for really making their main though. character not a. Sh or, oh my isn't fucking he god! A rushdown? Who? Pifi, Pifi, who is a soul main, says he's a Shodo. So I believe Pifi. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Soul is a Shadow. Or I mean, he's got the DPS. He's got all the good, the good shit that everyone recognizes. This one just looked fun. Die, Oscar player. Oh my oh, god! Makes sense. It's just like Dio. Who? Japanese sounds like Dio. Who? <laughs> it's probably the same Zot. voice actor. It is. Uh, if, if you're playing Zato, it's the same voice actor. If you look at Zato's English VA, though, it's Jotaro. Oh, you're approaching me? In yeah. theory, if, if Zato can speak both Japanese and English, that would mean that he can voice act both scenes, just in different dubs. Zato is essentially a Pokemon trainer. I see that. He could also summon three. He could also uh, summon three Pokemon at once, I believe. No, that's uh, Jacko. Oh shit! Yeah, that's Jacko. So all of his shit. Wait, if you're if you're learning if you're learning Zato, you should you should ask me to fight. <laughs> No. And again, I'm getting my ass beat by Asuka player right now. Are you? Uh, partially. Zato is a very simple character to play. Mm -hmm. I would highly suggest him for newbies. Who? Zato. No. Yes. I disagree. I am the Zato player here. The game clearly says, oh, this character is hard and only for tryhards. 
then... Pokemon trainers. That's Jacko. What's the room code again? Oh, the room code is 183676. Wait, a search for rooms. 183676. Mm -hmm. I've gotten good at remembering codes after work at Staples. Pog. He, he just tore my face off, literally. <laughs> Lawler, would you like to have an expedition match next to show show how uh, Zato plays sometimes? Sure. Fine okay. with me. I will do all the funny gimmicks. Haha. <laughs> Ayo. Ansem, this Ansem mod I have for Zato is one of the first mods I installed, and I don't think I want to get rid of it. Do you know that Zato is a pacifist and has never killed anyone? That sounds... Uh, are you talking about Zato or Eddie? Zato. I'm he is totally not the leader of the assassin guild. <laughs> sure. A likely story. Do you know that he is blind and as such uh, is... Um... It would yeah no he he would be allowed to get uh what is it disability benefits right he can go to one eight hundred contacts they have his brand for his special eyes he literally does not have eyes my brand they're just, they're just gone like like he he could not wear contacts my brand my brand <laughs> okay my turn. <laughs> I actually got to see the advertise the uh, co original commercial where actually where that meme is from, man. It's even better than I expected. Did you Have not you see it when it was on air? I never saw it on air. The first time I ever seen that was in the Mass Effect uh, parody. Hello, get on the stand. I am get on, on the stand. Other person, get on spectate. I thought you said you were going to show off your Zato, not your Asuka. Oh shoot! Damn. Yeah, that's what I thought. Was... Cancelled. <laughs> Wait, let me send you a Asuka mod, or uh, a Zato mod in a second. Sure. Here you go. Check your DMs in now. Pog, champ. Uh, Sussy Zato? Oh my god, no. I refuse. I refuse. Zato probably requires the least micromanaging out of any character in Strive. That sounds like a fucking lie. <laughs> He's a rushed down grappler. Wait, how did you launch two supers already? Don't ask. Sus, Amogus. Cancer, oh shit! I've never seen anyone use that move three times in a match before. Easy. Sus. Ow. I, you are not the only one who can summon animals to brutalize their enemies. Bruh. Are we sure that's an animal? Yes, it's a frog. 
A frog. I knew it. It's a pest. It needs to be exterminated. I think it is fitting that May's weapons of choices are the smartest mammals on Earth aside from humans and elephants. And apes, I suppose. is better than your dolphins. And I took that personally. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Someone please clip that. <laughs> <laughs> that was not planned. I didn't know. I thought he was going to I didn't know he was going to block that or not. <laughs> has a really bad corner defense, by the way, if you can't tell. Well, that's why I said I was surprised that you seemed comfortable fighting close range. Most autos do not like... do not like being touched. Most people don't like being touched by random strangers online. Oh, well, you'd be surprised. Interesting. The keyword there is most. Mm, the keyword is most. Ah! Bruh. I, I really should have did the jump and grab. I should have had you. Neck? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. It's okay. May got better. Zata refuses to let me grab them anymore. I'm sad. Oh my god. Put myself back in the core and I'm dead. Being bored to death by shadow sharks. Zata is a very stylish character, as you can see. Indeed. What? I don't micromanage at all by oh, while I play him. By the way. He actually yeah, plays by himself pretty much. I'm surprised you weren't doing any chip damage to me with all that, though. That's why I just like, I was like holding block and I was like, is he, I'm gonna die yet? And then I just kept looking at my health bar and I was like, it doesn't look like it's going down. It is, just really slowly. Hmm. Ah! I'm probably spoiled by the chip damage in Street Fighter 6 now. Since you pretty much die from chip getting chipped to death a lot more often. You die a lot more often in this game, though. Yeah, that's true. I'm really glad that Capcom managed to stick the landing with SF6, to be honest. For we had had so controls. we've had so many like AAA failures over the past half a year or so that it just seemed like it would be par for the course. But they said uh, they didn't want a repeat of Street Fighter 6, and well, it was not a repeat of Street Fighter 6 in the end. Ah, oh, shit, I'm dead. Oh no, you dolphin threw it. Damn. <sighs> I like how, how you're like completely focusing and then there's just me who's like spamming buttons for fun. 
typical Zato main. <laughs> So to be fair, I probably wouldn't be as ballsy about my grabs, because as a Steel was joking, no, no, not that. I mean, maze grabs. Uh, as Steel was joking, I kind of have this bad habit lately of trying to run up grab with me all the time. Yep. To the point where it's become a legit problem. <laughs> like it's gotten me killed too. a few times, and it's getting annoying. I have to. What? New Unfor person, would you like to fight against Mimi's auto? Uh, sure. Get on the stand, Lawler. Rawr. Spectate. How do, how do I stop spectating? Oh, how do I get uh, uh, push Me. whatever goes for the back button in your device. Can you tell I'm just spamming buttons? <laughs> I actually can't tell. <laughs> because whether it's spamming buttons or if it's uh, some sort of mastermind plot, as is befitting a technical character, it's all the same to me. Zaza isn't that technical. I mean, I think he's intended as a technical character, but the fact that you're able to just spam summons is just like... On the bright side, it is good to know that you could at least punch most of his animals. Lawler punches animals for fun, I see. Yeah, I do. It makes them tender, you know. Oh no. Oh, no. oh yeah. Now I can tell that you're spamming buttons only because I could literally hear your buttons through the mic. If, if you look at my stream, you can see me just doing circles. Like, like, like check out my stream real quick. Lawler, tell yeah. me when you can see my stream. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll be fighting. It appears you're only slamming the top three buttons repeatedly. Yep. Are you fucking serious? Oh, you weren't yep. kidding. You are just spinning the lever bolts. Jesus fuck, man. This, this is, is how I fight you, by the way, Lawler. Buttons. That's fucking... So what you're saying is... If I play smart and just know how to punch all the animals in a proper way... That's how I would defeat you, but I was basically Maybe, thinking about the wrong way. I have another like three stratagems I can do. Well, I mean, if I'm forcing you to actually think, that's good enough because as it is right now, you are quite literally just spamming your stick. Yep. Yeah, you you saw those controls, right? <laughs> yeah, that's kind of that's kind of annoying. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Playing Zato is kind of a workout. I'm not trying to go that close game. Alright, now you're actually trying. I can tell. You're doing quarter circles. You're not just spamming. Oh no. The learning curve for Zato, I feel, is... Or Oh, okay, the fact that you could actually count, you can actually interrupt the, uh, sword. I think the learning curve for Zatu is, it's kind of counterintuitive to think that, oh, I can just kill the animals themselves, because most people consider them just raw projectiles, right? Yeah. Also, oh uh, yeah, that's the other thing about Eno. Eno's uh, move with the whole dagger thing where she does a slide, it goes underneath projectiles and through projectiles. <laughs> So, theoretically, um, theoretically, Malefic could actually just time their attacks and go into... That requires me to actually have timing, though. That's <laughs> yeah, just practice. Ouch. 
Jeefy, can you confirm that this uh, has been how I've been playing the entire night? Oh no. Yeah, Malefic's getting close. I think they're actually doing better than I than I did against you right now. <laughs> oh no. I remember my buttons. There's so many of them. <laughs> So, you can, this is typically what I, how I approach the uh, learning strive and other fighting games. I pretty much like chose let's see, a few selected chose a few buttons that I was comfortable using in a fight, learning how yeah. to use them, and then once I thought that I mastered those, moved on to learning the rest of the kit. Uh, because by the way, I just learned uh, how to do the, the the this thing, the, the jiggle thing, um, yesterday. The what thing? Uh, the thing where I just jiggle it back and forth and just spam a button. Mm -hmm. I learned that yesterday. <laughs> Pog. Xato's skill curve really isn't that high. Like, 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 you know, you just you just spam him. He's just a funny guy, you know? <laughs> I I'm giving the completely wrong impression on how to play Zato, aren't I? Oh, yeah. I mean, you're giving the wrong impression to Malefic. I know you're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> it, it worked, though. No. You are all, you're also teaching Malefic that basically half of fucking fighting games is basically the psychological aspect. If you can just if you can just intimidate the shit out of your opponents, you already won. Did I intimidate uh, you longer? <laughs> I'm not intimidated by Zato mains. I'm always intimidated Damn. by Ventahack because Ventahack is fucking disgusting at at uh, Strive, but that's fair. Yo, Pifi, you want the code? You you want the code? Pifi is terrifying by the way he will kill everyone <laughs> oh, no. but um at floor four you don't really need to use the entirety of eno's kit you can get away with using some of it but eventually you want to get familiar with at least all of it even if you don't use all of it in a set yeah Pretty much when you reach, when you run into a wall where your what little you have is not working anymore, that's when it's like, that's when it's time to start mixing it up with even more knowledge. Or you could just spam harder. Eh. Uh, eh. That's what I did. That always, that's <laughs> how it usually works. Oh, that's the other thing. Um, I don't think this is a thing with Strive, to my knowledge, but in Street Fighter 6, the game actually does actively punish you for... Just quote unquote mashing buttons. I mash buttons in a very precise way. Like, if you try to mash buttons in Strive, there's this thing where you could pretty much just constantly grab someone and you could put people into what they call a throw loop. And some people say that apparently throw loops also exist in Strive, but if they do, I don't recall any, or maybe I just don't get throw looped in Strive anymore. I don't remember. I've done that to a lot of people. It's kind of funny. Baller, were you thinking that my my Zato was precise? <laughs> I thought I it was kind of, I mean, especially when you did the whole thing with the, oh, I'm just going to spam the same button, bo uh, the same button the summons. I don't know what the fuck I did, but that was cool. Uh, yeah. what did you do? No, uh, when I just yeeted myself across the screen. Oh, air dash? I don't know. Okay, Peefy should be joining the lobby in a second. Be prepared Pog. to die. <laughs> he is the final boss. Oh really? He he can defeat me on like his like eighth main. Against like he has like four characters that he can defeat me like hundred percent, right? And then he has his main. <laughs> Cumulatively out of all the guilty gear games, I think he has like sixteen hundred hours. <laughs> Only 1600 amongst all the Guilty Gear games? Yep. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, P is actually in the lobby not. Now. That's actually not that much when it comes to playing a fighting game franchise. How many hours do I have in Strive? Let me check. I have uh, 300 hours. Yeah. 
it's kind of a meme, but uh, as someone was joking in the Steam forums about how they have 400 hours in Strive and they still don't consider themselves good. When it's you consider, true. it is true though. <laughs> I guess it goes for a lot of competitive games where you could have literally hundreds of thousands of hours in said game and you would still only be considered mediocre or slightly above average. I guess it also depends on the quality of your training, really. Floor floor 8 is already above average, like the, the 50 percentile. You would think that, but for most people, they consider anything below floor 10 as noob level. No, this is actually based off of like the, like the metrics, though, you know? There are metrics for this game? Uh, there are outside of rating update.info? Yeah, uh, rating update uh, has actually like the distribution chart, and most matches actually occur like below floor 8. Floor 8 is like the average average. In that case, this server must have just ruined me then, because almost everyone that plays f fucking Strive in this community is Celestial. You're in a tournament server. You're in a tournament server. Still. Most people don't ever touch tournaments. And, like, I got to play Strive uh, lo at local. I got to play Strive in locals for the first time at an anime convention. And... I'm not going to say that the people who I was playing against were bad, but they were not very good. At least, not compared to the average person that plays Strive here in this server. Yeah. And they all thought I was decent. I'm like, I'm not decent. I'm considered mediocre. What are you talking about? Now, to be fair, playing offline Strive is certainly an experience of all time. It's, it's fucking beautiful. It's fucking perfect, actually. Can you tell that I'm playing on Wi-Fi? <laughs> hmm? Can you tell that I'm playing on Wi-Fi? <laughs> I cannot, but that probably explains why you're able to spam, because of why Wi-Fi of how Wi-Fi works compared to Ethernet. My Wi-Fi is really good, though. That's it, the problem. Well, see, it doesn't matter how good your Wi-Fi is. It has a lot to do with how information is sent. Um, by spamming with a Wi-Fi with Wi-Fi, you're basically sending more inputs to the game than I am. So the game is going to read you off before it'll ever read anything I do. Let's go, kind of based. <laughs> and that's the kind of the real reason why people hate Wi-Fi players. I should downgrade to 2.5 G Wi-Fi. Oh my God, you're just not going to get any games. Everyone's going to is going to just disconnect. Okay, Peefy's in the lobby. You want to watch Peefy? <laughs> cool. Peefy beat their ass. <laughs> Fifi's like my Pokemon, no? Ooh, soul bad guy. I need some... I actually need practice against soul. Kaikisuke still pisses me off more than soul bad guy, but... I like the, like the, the terrifying church music right now. Mm -hmm. It fits. Oh? Volcanic Viper! Head bashed again. Yo, hey, Vivi. Yo, Vivi, you wanna play a few matches too? I realized I never greeted Vivi, so I'm like, oh no. Wait, how did you invite them to the room if you didn't even greet them? Vivi? Yeah. The oh, person this I'm posting. This person's name is Vivi's Cola. Is that not the same person? Oh. Oh, they, they might have just gotten the code from the, my, my chat. <laughs> okay. Ah. I was going to say, Vivi's no, Cola no, is decent, that's but... Peefy. That's Peefy. So... Fifi or Vivi? Uh, Vivi and Pifi are different characters. Pifi, this is uh, Pifi. What about people as opposed to characters? Pifi's scary, isn't he? No, this is very typical for a soul main. When you pretty much get your gotten your face kicked in by Celestials like over twenty plus times over the course of a year and a half, you stop being impressed. I'm not gonna lie. I 
I'm sorry to say. The last time I was super impressed up to the point of being like, ah, oh, fuck me alive, I'm fighting this guy, was against a RAM player. And they were, that's because this RAM player didn't play like any other RAM players I knew at the time. They that's were kind of... reaction whenever I meet an average happy chaos player. Yeah, Ventahek is a fucking disgusting happy chaos player, but he also taught me how to not be afraid of happy chaos. Isn't that a double, like, a uh, double Antande or whatever? Hmm? All happy cast players are disgusting. No, some of them are just average, or some of them get lazy. Especially with their handgun. Yeah. Like, remember when it used to be a meme where they would just spam the uh, green ball of death and just keep yeah. shooting you in the corner? Yeah. But some characters had a hard time playing against those kind of happy chaoses, but others could just FD. Kiske. And anyone that pretty much had a lot of mobility could just get to the other side of the room really quickly. And then, of course, if the Happy Chaos missed with their green ball of death, well, they are still going to get fucked over if the other person knew what they were doing. Maho Shoujo, I believe, is Vivi. Does anyone know why it's called a Roman cancel? What did the Romans uh, do? There actually is a reason for it, but I don't remember what the reason was. It's on the wiki somewhere. I didn't know the Romans had access to Twitter. Huh? What does what? Twitter have to do with it? Cancelled. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that move stunned, or whatchamacallit. Yeah, it's, stunned is the correct term. What am I saying? Block stun. Or is it block stun? No, it's a uh, stagger is the word I'm looking for. I don't know why I, said, why I thought it was stun. Part of my gameplay style is actually made to be made for locals, because you know in locals you can kind of like look at the other person's controller to like guess what they're about to do. Mhm. Mm they, they just see me doing this, you know? Mhm. Mm they don't know what's happening. <laughs> we I can actually, the... actually I can backfire on you sometimes. The person that taught oh. me how to play with a lever said that generally if you want to... You be on the stand? Generally you want to be more... What's the word you look? What's the word I'm looking for? You want to generally be more deliberate with your movements, and you don't oh, want no, to no, make no. an I, extreme. I can't do any movement mid spam because I've learned the exact like inches to like you know like like mini micro movements to do a move. With, like, oh, okay. I was gonna like basically My what they spam said is was highly calculated. The idea is that if you can hear the person's button press and lever and like lever movements. They're going to assume that you're new because you're basically tryharding is what the pro is like the uh, theory goes. Yeah. It could be it could be an indication that you're just button mashing. If your movements are deliberate, it means you actually have a plan. You're actually trying to work with something more or less, or work oh, around something. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. You know, my movements are completely random spam. Yeah. Yo, VV making a comeback? Wait, can you see the screen by the way right now? I'm um, watching ball? it right- yeah, I'm watching it right now. Oh, okay, I didn't know- <laughs> <laughs> Have these two fought before? Yeah, they're like, best friends, I think. Okay, I can kind of tell. I'm good Karisu. It definitely- it definitely looks like they know what each- what they're trying- they know what each, what the other person's gonna do, and they're trying to outguess each other. Which is yeah. typical when you fight someone a lot. Vivi is honestly really good as well, though. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, nice. How's under night in birth? <laughs> do people call it a unib? <laughs> or do they just say the entire name? Your nips? Uh... Mostly people just make memes of it. Under the night. No one actually plays it. Everyone just memes it. I mean, people do play it, but it's one of those games that it has to. You have to basically join a Discord to get matches nowadays. I feel like. Ah. Uh, you just got sense. raided, by the way. Well, that's good to hear. Yo, wait, shoot, widow. Hey, widow. Um, would you like to see me do some very heinous gameplay after? Uh, currently we're watching a match between Peefy and Vivi. How was your stream? Um. Lawler, do, uh, do, do you mind if I, if, I, if, I, if, I, if I if I fight you for a bit? I do not <laughs> mind. It's actually getting close to the end of my stream time, so let's get a couple more matches. I would like to get a couple more matches in with you and also with Malefic before we end the evening. Okay, because um, Widow is asking what I mean by heinous. By what now? Like heinous gameplay. <laughs> what, like, 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 okay, uh... yeah, yeah, yeah. According, according Nat, welcome to the stream. According to Nat, just pop a uh, new person just popped into my stream to say souls are so easy. Oh no, you should fight Peefy. I mean, I'm not gonna say shit about which character is easier or not, but uh, soul bad guy does have that, have that kind of no, reputation. No, no, no. I've invented a new gameplay style that's even worse than normal V or uh, Widow. Uh, played. What's what's Pip? I don't know what Pip is. Oh no. I reacted too slowly to that. Now that I'm under pressure, I'm losing. Man. Quick, turn off your brain again. RNG is save, Toylan. This was working against Lawler a few seconds ago. Oh! Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I've just learned to brain off and spam a Zato. It's kind of funny. Oh, damn. Damn. GG's. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really good under pressure, as you can see. Well, also, it probably helps that you told me what you're doing. And oh, it... no. Does that mean I have to actually play the game now? Well, you have to understand that by... I think what your, your plan kind of backfired. You told me that you're just fucking around. So what this made me think was oh now i feel like shit that i lost to someone who's just fucking around i have to actually try 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 hard makes sense because that's like the biggest insult right even if you don't intend it is an insult oh, oh you no, lost no, even though i was just fucking around now. <laughs> <laughs> uh well at the souls i fought were shit so probably also i vibe with elfo team oh i'm glad that you are also an elfo theme enjoyer as well is it bad that I want Elfo to come back to Strive? I know people fucking hate her from Zard. <laughs> I, I, I prefer her over uh, Happy Chaos. Some people would disagree with you. Uh, I could, I don't blame them for disagreeing with you, but at the same time, I think I would also prefer Elfo over Happy Chaos. Personally. Ow. JLT trippin'. Sure. Big Booty Man, welcome it to the stream. Foss and NA. Boss, the good Foss players are scary because they're good at RNG, you know? Yeah. In fact, I actually hate good Faust players for that reason. Because of the is fucking... Is Faust or Faust? Uh... I think Faust is the... Nah, actually, never mind me. I don't know which one is correct. I know he is named after the infamous Faust from the uh, horror story, but... Which horror story? Dr. Faust. You know, uh, fucking soul to soul to the devil and stuff? You never heard of that? I have no idea what you're talking about. That's literally what Faust is named after. Named after uh, a horror, a fiction, a uh, famous horror story about a Doctor Faust. I have no idea, Peefy. There we go. 
Oh no. I really should just block low once in a while. Imagine blocking. At least Elfwood was cute. That's very true. Unblockable pinecone setups. <laughs> oh no. I don't know why it took me this long to realize, but I just, just now found, discovered that I can wait, I can time your frog and get out of the way after it does its first leap. Oh, you, you didn't know. I, I didn't okay, know you could, I, it didn't ever occur to me that that's probably the proper way to get out of the frog, the smart way, you know? Makes sense. Nice crab. Go, frog loop, go. Shoo. I like cranking the frog out like that. It's kind of funny, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, nice, nice. That's the first oh. time I... So, that's only the second time I've seen you use a super with Zato in our game so far. Ooh, really? The, yeah, the first time you did a super was in one of our first games this evening. I use that super very carefully. As you should. It's because the other one's easier to spam because you can do it midair. Mm-hmm. Not because it's more useful, just because it's easier to spam. You done? Ow. Nope. Oh. How did you grab oh. me out of kraut? Interesting. It was also power. Yeah, that does no chip damage. It's just really funny. And scary if you don't if you've not like experienced it before. Oh no. That was a read. You knew I was gonna jump there. I, like I see frogs. where you're at. I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I, I do not calculate anything while I play this game. Full oh, fucking shit. <laughs> Malefic, you want to play one more game before I end for the evening? Fuck yeah. Awesome. Uh, are you having a good time? Are you learning anything? I always feel bad when I bring people who are new to the game to hang out with others because it's difficult to, you know, not destroy Yo, people. Vivi, Vivi, I mean... you want to play a match? <laughs> Hey, you, you can't learn without getting absolutely fucking destroyed. That is fair. I mean, you know, that's also a good mindset to have when playing fighting games. I just never know for sure, you know, sometimes. Like, when I first started playing Strive in this 
server, I constantly was getting my face melted. Like it was, there was like no shot. And sometimes the people, the VTubers I'm playing with, would stop and they're like, "Are you okay? Do you need us to teach you anything?" And I'm like, "No, it's fine. It's okay." <laughs> I learned my own way through pain. Because I knew it's. I, I try not to. I, I mean. It's not their fault that they're that good. It's just a matter of skill, and you really shouldn't take these things personally. But it's hard it's not to hard. take things personally un unless you're like used to it, I guess. Even then, like I tend to hate the character, hate characters more, hate characters my own own lack of skill more than the actual player. Like for example, I fucking hate fast right now. Faust is scary, man. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> it's just weird. I mean... You must hate Bedman, then. I actually would prefer fighting a Bedman to a Faust, believe it or not. You probably would hate Asuka, then, in that case. Ah, uh, Asuka is just a zoner. To me, a zoner by any other name would be as... zoning. I prefer... I would fight Asuka over Axel any day, for example. I fucking hate Axels. So much. I don't actually mind uh, uh, Absols. But, um, with Faust, I guess with Faust, what fucks me up is first off, that move that uh, Malef just did, that thing. The last time I fought against a Faust, it was in ranked, and the, the fucking Faust I was playing against just did nothing but that move, and I didn't know what to do against it. I was like, uh, Which one is it? The describe um, the animation. He, like, goes, he, like, goes in the air. And he attacks downward in a diagonal with, and they spinning like a corkscrew with a spear out. Oh, that one. That yeah, that's not too bad. Like, I feel like I felt dumb when I was fighting instead of fast, because I thought to myself, there must be a way around this, and he's just doing that because it works. You mean like the thing but, with the two scarecrows? No, not the thing with the two scarecrows. That's also easy. I mean the thing where a Faust jumps in the air, and he does this diagonal attack. With the tornado? He, while he spins. No, not the tornado. He does a diagonal attack while he spins. Um, I don't remember that one. It's... I don't know how else to describe it other than diagonal attack with... I don't know, but it really... This guy just kept, kept doing that, and it was fucking annoying as shit. And I couldn't even be mad because, you know, <sighs> after you die to the same move several times in a row, it's not the player's fault. That you suck, oh, yeah. it's your fault, right? But yeah. it's still, I was like, this is fucking me up. Of course, yeah, I'd no meet the one fast TV. player who's decent. <laughs> it's oh, like, um, I, I, you have abandoned me to fight Peefy. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, Faust has some weird animations. He's, he's a weird character. What, what is that what he's actually called? Huh? Hmm? Oh, honestly, okay. you guys just went... uh, Cording says, honestly, Bedman is alright to play against. Yeah, I agree. I mean, Bedman can get annoying and can get really snoobally, but I feel like he's a lot more easy. To... He's a lot easier for me to predict than Faust. A good Faust player still fuck me up. And I'm not one of those. Mm. Uh, Faust you also has. For a while. Faust also has this other move that he does that really screws me over. It's this thing that where he like attaches a fishing wire to you and then like I don't that's the best way I could describe it. It's he uh oh, oh, the the it's it's a fishing hook. It's yeah. Golf fishing hook move. And Oh <sighs> Scalpel pull, that's the one. Yeah, I I don't know how to properly deal with scalpel pull yet, so that's another move that people like to abuse against me once they discover. Uh, all you can do is block. Really? Is there anything pull, else? Scalpel pull only happens after a really slow attack to like start off with, so you just gotta you got just gotta block that first attack. Just block, lol. <laughs> Yep, that, 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 that is literally the thing. It, it, it's just, it's because it's a very reactable move, you know? Most of the time, people aren't in like a dangerous enough position to like, get hit by it. Cording that says, you just jump when you see them do the startup. Okay. Well, I'll keep this in mind the next time I have to fight a decent Faust player. Oh. Hmm. Oh. 
Ow, 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 shit, ow. Ow. Nice. He even kills me. He, they even, Malefic even kills me with the move I was bitching about just, or just now. <laughs> not, oh, not scalpel pull, the other one. The, uh, diagonal thing. You can, uh, you can 6p the scalpel too, apparently, according to Vivi. Is there anything 6p does not counter? Uh, lows. That's true. That's fair. Uh, overheads, which have, uh, large hitboxes. I didn't know you could punch the tornado either, and that just happened. Fuck. Oh shit, I just got scalpel pulled. <laughs> there you go. Oh, are you just really unknowledgeable about other Faust matchup? How many- I can- I could count on one hand how many Faust I ever- I play in a month. So, yeah. I have fought a good amount of Faust, actually. Mm. The characters I see the least of, but always with like an 80% chance get dominated by are in no particular order faust milia zato and zato yeah i'm all i'm fairly comfortable playing against everyone else leo's give me some trouble sometimes also until i remember that i can grab mainly because of that move where they attack you from ta attack you backwards you're supposed to be able to grab them out of that but i've not gotten the timing down properly I won one for one. I see a lot of fa uh, according says I see a lot of fouls cause ninety percent of them suck. <laughs> oh. uh, I fought forty three fausts uh, since um since uh, what is it Bedman released. You counted? Yep. Damn. I mean I used the rating update. Oh fair. You can grab only after raw cross up. Oh okay. Hi, yeah. Cording, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Lost Time Show. I am your host, Shitposter AI Lawler Hicks, and I also like fighting or play a lot of fighting games, as you probably tell from my VOD, recent VODs. I typically consider myself a variety of YouTuber. It's just that lately I've been focusing heavily on fighting games oh. for because of reasons. Um, I usually play these on Friday, and I also try to join a lot of tournaments so i guess that's part of the reason why i've been doing a lot of these a lot more of these recently but uh welcome uh thank you for the follow and welcome to my channel oh by the way the the me spamming uh spamming the thingy magic is actually a technique that a lot of auto players use <laughs> go random uh, bullshit go is a technique no no it, it's called clap canceling so you're like clapping people's cheeks with <laughs> no, no, uh, basically, uh, Zato has three different ways he can use Eddie's moves, right? Mm -hmm. He can use negative edging, he can use, um, he can use clap cancelling, or he can use, uh, summoning, right? Mm -hmm. Um, clap cancelling reduces the cost, but makes it so that he just claps, you know? Meanwhile, the other one, uh, you know, has higher cost, but, uh, you know, he can use it mid-move as well. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, so me crank out clap cancelling is actually kind of optimal. Hmm. And it's just the motion of, it's the motion of 6p or not uh, it's quarter circle into quarter circle into quarter circle into quarter circle uh this upcoming fight i'm spectating is going to get muted by twitch uh, i better get out i better get out fuck i need to get out uh if you want to stop spectating you just hold the menu button yeah i just did that that small part's probably gonna get muted by. It's probably gonna get mu get muted by YouTube. Twitch actually doesn't care. It's YouTube that's been giving me shit because Sony, like our so because Sony are pricks like that. But uh, I had to get out. I couldn't expect that that match because Butch the Rocks theme music was gonna play. But um, oh, anyway. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have mods that that would uh do that. <laughs> that's one of the few mods I have that even does anything because like fucking. Uh, Konami doesn't give a shit, Platinum Games doesn't give a shit, and I have Metal Gear Revengeance music that plays because of the character mods. But, uh, Butch of the Rock, and the, uh, Sony does not like my Butch it's an mod. anime, of course they wouldn't like it. <laughs> but, um, yep, yeah, that was... That's actually a pretty fun stream. Thank you for playing with me tonight, everyone. I'm going to stick around until y'all finish your matches because I cannot leave without the lobby dying as a result. 
problem. But... Peefy's just kind of beating my ass right now. <laughs> no, I mean, don't don't rush. Take your take y'all's times. I'm just pointing out that I'll have to chill for a time being because if I leave, this the lobby dies would be. I died. <laughs> also, I'm gonna go ahead and shill the tournament that I'm going to be a part. That I'm joining. It's gonna be run by a fr another VTuber friend of mine from the Philippines, mm -hmm. Asha. Um, today is the last day to actually sign up for it. It's the G. It's the Guilty Gear Strive Lock and Loaded Tournament. The grand prize is actually a fully a rigged and modeled uh, two D live two D VTuber avatar. How's so, VV treating you, by the way? Um, by the way, uh, what's all the person VC called? Malefic. Malefic. Uh, I'm getting fucked harder than my sister at frat party. I am. Are you? Are you? Vivi's actually really dang good. You know who's not good? Me. I think that just comes with time, you know? Yeah. The way I see it also, if you get your face kicked in like I did by Celestials and just stupidly good players early on, you start, you stop being afraid of them. So from then on, pretty much everyone else seems easy by comparison. <laughs> Which is why I'm not trying to. I wasn't trying to downplay your friend's skill or anything. It's just that I've seen so. I've fought a lot of decent soul players. I'm used to this. I'm kind of used to this combo loop already, type thing. Yeah. <laughs> he he wants to challenge you again. By the way. Uh, okay, fine. Let's play again. Oh no! There's beef now. <laughs> hey, cow! Welcome to the stream. I mean, if you want to have beef, have beef with Cordian. He says that souls suck. <laughs> oh no. I mean... I have nothing against souls other than what's so how souls are typically memed, so... Volcanic Viper! A little bit of lag going on here as well. Oh, that's just me. Volcanic paper. Was that a read? <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, that was a read. You could tell. The stagger pressure in that is fucking sick. Going. And of course there's me, never respecting the DP. Ever. Never ever respect your opponent. Respect? Never heard of it. And Gunflame is scary, isn't it? <laughs> I just need to get used to the... Just to the distance, the distance, because I don't see many souls that do gun flame unironically. It has its place though. It's basically the Hado basically his Hadoken more or less. And I mean, considering that I play Zoner Ken, I'm I have like nothing to say for gun f oh, for no. gun flame soul. Zoners are the worst. Bandit Bringer is another one that constantly fucks me up because even if it's obvious they're going to go, they're going to use Bandit Bringer. I put myself in situations where I get Bandit Brung. Yeah. And if t to me, like other people, just like Volcanic Viper, are going to bitch about Bandit Bringer. But to me, it's just like I don't know why I knew he was going to Bandit Bringer, but I put myself in a position where I got Bandit Brung anyway. That's why I tell people like. If you if you think a character's move is op, it's probably le less that they're op and more that you have not learned to not get caught by it. Unless it's happy chaos, always it's always not... throw in happy chaos players. Yeah, kill just don't don't have show any mercy to happy chaos players. If you don't if you show even a slightest bit of mercy to one, you will lose. You must go bongo bongo all all day every day. 
Happy Chaos uh, uh, players have signed away their rights. More or less, yeah. I also noticed that uh, Vivi's Cola uses. I'm not sure if it's just before this exhibit for this match that we're doing, but it feels like he's actually they're actually using more of Soul's kit than I typically would expect from Soul players. <laughs> I'm not trying to be insulting. I'm being serious right now. I almost never see Bennett. I almost never see the uh, Gunflame. I almost never see that other move he did that kept uh, that kept staggering me. Beefy's a long time soul player. He's pretty much main soul in like every Guilty Gear game. Alright, you know so what? So he has like a really big understanding of souls kit. That explains a lot. Most souls just fucking... Volcanic Viper. Volcanic Viper. Volcanic Viper. Bandit Revolver. Volcanic Viper. Like, why would you use anything else, right? There we go. Also, I love this Doom mod, uh, Doom Slayer mod that I put for Soul Bad Guy. Nice read. Beefy has some really good footsies, as you can see. I could tell. There are actually... I feel like there aren't that many. I feel like footsies is a dying art form in fighting games outside of the Street Fighters and Tekken, I guess. Even Street Fighter isn't as major as it used to be. That's true. Unless you're doing the Ken and Ryu matchups where it's kind of required. GG's Vivi. <laughs> no, that's Pifi. Oh, GG's Fifi. Or PP. Whatever, they all sound the P same. Fifi. <laughs> With P a P I F I. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and thank you, everyone, for playing tonight. Let's see who we're gonna stream. Uh, Toy, are you gonna stream more tonight, or should I find someone else? I'll probably head to bed. Alright. <laughs> Well, in that case, once again, thank you for the follows. Thank you for everyone who showed up this evening. If you would like... Let me find someone to raid. If you are interested in seeing more gameplay, I do play Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I'm uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I typically a variety streamer, but lately I've been playing mostly fighting games exclusively because I've been participating in a lot of tournaments recently. Meanwhile, I stream whenever I want to. <laughs> That's a mood. Imagine streaming whenever you want. I am too powerful. Who is online this evening anyway to Me. raid? Aside from you? Me. Uh, last player is playing Street Fighter 6 and Chim is doing just chatting. Uh, is anyone playing Strive anymore? Oh wait, aside from you? Um, Me. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. Here we go. Raiding a random VTuber. Goodbye, everyone. Enjoy. As for me... I don't know who to raid. There we go. End stream. Oh. Uh, good night. Good night. What is Ryoko Mizunu playing this evening? It's a rare time to get to see her online. Oh! It's Ryoko's birthday. Well, I know who we're reading oh, tonight. <laughs> Raid Ryoko Mizuno. All right. Have a good night, everyone. You can use a variation of this raid message for raiding Ryoko since she's celebrating her birthday today. Thank you for joining us this evening, and have a good one.
<laughs> oh, I should probably do that thing too, huh? That I haven't done in a while. Oh, the smell of the 